Hello and welcome to Randolph Community College Fall 2024. My name is Dr. Teresa Cox and I am your instructor on record for Sociology 210, 83 online and 84 online. I am combining the two into one video. Ha! Ah, thank goodness this is a 16 week uh, class, so that means we have time to take a breath here and there. I'm going to get through the most important things first. First things first, we must get our, I'm be looking at three different places, we must get our syllabus quiz, enrollment verification quiz finished by August 28th at 11.59 p.m. That lets the registrar know that you do intend to take this class. And so, get that done first. Uh, the second thing, and I'll get it out of the way, 11-13, that's November the 13th, is the last drop date for this or any 16-week class to, uh, drop it in case you feel like you've gotten behind in some of your work. So um, remember that date. If you wait beyond that and drop, it, it will wind up being a grade. All right, let's go through the Moodle and I'll answer some questions you didn't even know you had. Okay, first things first, remember in this or any class, your syllabus is a guide. It is a roadmap to help you look under that course schedule. It tells you everything you need to know about what to expect on a weekly or bi-weekly basis. I have gone through my course evaluations over the last few semesters and I started out having work done every week and it seems like I get more positive views and reviews on uh, doing it every two weeks. So I put this semester, and I did it in summer too, and I got good, good feedback. I have taken everything and put it into two week sections. So that gives you a little better time frame to pace your workout. Okay, that being said, Every two weeks, we will cover two chapters. Every chapter has a quiz. Every quiz is open to be taken two times to better your grade, learn the material. Every regular quiz has an optional extra credit quiz. It's an essay style. It's usually six points, but later on in the semester, a couple of them are nine points, but you must be thorough. Okay, so we are gonna have a quiz on every one of the chapters that we'll cover, then an optional extra credit. You have the syllabus quiz, and all of those go into your grade book under quizzes, 75% of your grade. Simple as that. Okay, so, during the first section, I'll get to the other 25%. During the first section, that means you'll have a PowerPoint presentation. You'll look at the OpenStax book and you'll be able to answer quiz number one, optional quiz for chapter number one. Same thing, PowerPoint number two, optional quiz, okay. So far, so good, right? That'll be due 9-1. There we go, with that two-week period. Your content for 9-2 through 9-15, don't forget about Labor Day, too, on 9-2. Um, we get a little deeper into that 25%, which is the other part of your grade. So for your writing, you're going to choose a chapter Take a look at your book, your online ebook or handheld book, and find a chapter that speaks to you. There's lots of great chapters in there, 
You know, I've got my favorites. Pick a chapter, and you're going to write about it. You will write about it before the 13th of December, because our classes end on the 14th, and I've got to get grades in. But during this section of 9-2 to 9-15, you need to choose that chapter and upload that choice to me. That is a grade that will go into your paper grade, which is 25%. It's just simple. Pick the chapter, type it into a, a Word doc or some sort of document, and upload it to where it says upload your chapter choice. Doesn't have to be the paper yet, the choice. Speaking of the paper, I know it's early, it's only August, but in December, by the 13th, you will have written an in-depth reflection journal on the chapter that you chose. Now, I think there's about 20 chapters. Maybe not 20, but there's, a, there's at least 18 chapters in this text. So, choose your chapter. And because it is a reflection journal, that means it's okay to start out with saying, I chose this chapter because. It speaks to me because. There's a lot of good ways to write journal reflections, and everyone invariably is going to want to ask questions about APA and MLA style of citation. If you only use the text, the OpenStax text, I'm not requiring you to cite your references. Okay. This paper will be minimum six pages, and in a folder associated with the next section, which is 9.2 through 9.15, you will find some excellent, excellent sample papers from the summer and last semester in the spring that will help you be guided with this paper. You'll also find a folder with crash course sociology videos that correlate with the chapters in our text. Those videos will help you, first of all, with that paper. So find a video that correlates with whichever chapter you chose. But to be honest with you, those crash course videos will help you with this course. So if you find yourself in need of some input, don't hesitate to watch these crash course videos. They are well done, informative, and most of them are not even 15 minutes long. Can't beat that. So your chapter choice, that's all, is due by the 15th of September. You're going to get 100 just for choosing your chapter. That figures into your 25% for your paper. And if you need help. A lot of times, even though I get really stressed out about taking a standardized quiz or exam, a lot of people get stressed out over writing papers. That's fine. I have included many details about the Writing Center hours for fall. If you get help from the Writing Center in person, by phone, on email, whichever, they will let me know, 10 point extra credit. If you don't feel comfortable doing Writing Center help, you and I and three or four more people or just you and I can do a teams meeting and i will give you the extra credit for getting help even if it's from me how oh, good is that okay so we got 75 percent quizzes 25 percent of those the pa final paper getting help and just submitting your chapter choice so 
Randolph Community College requires me to have a proctored quiz. So I'm just doing one. It will be chapter three quiz, which is due by the 15th. Now, my experience has been, if you use a Chromebook, or if you don't use Google Chrome, you're going to have an issue with this secure browser. Please, if you're using a Chromebook, you may try the quiz. I am asking you on the front end of this conversation, don't wait until the last minute. These quizzes are available for two times. You can take every quiz two times. Please don't wait. Okay, enough of that. After the 15th, we're back to cruising along. Everything is spelled out for you, no surprises. Every single section is open for two weeks. You'll have two PowerPoints, two quizzes available to take up to two times, two optional extra credits, the only thing you've got mixed in to all of that is, I'm hoping that you're working on that final six page paper that will include headers, which are on those samples that I've uploaded, good grammar, check your spelling, don't center it, use left justification, and that's it. I'll go through a few more. Here's 10, 7. Don't forget we've got fall break in there. Then, exciting news coming up. After the 18th of November, you have a big long span to work on your paper during Thanksgiving. Uh, and don't forget, your final six-page paper is due by the 13th of December at 11.59 p.m. I have not done it yet, and I will contemplate doing it at all. I do not usually offer extra credit quizzes, optional quizzes, on the last chapter or two at the end of the semester, just so that you're not worried about, you know, yet another quiz. You will have your standard quiz. And I'm going to reserve the right to change on that because a lot of times people feel so much more comfortable with those essay style quizzes. And it gives me a chance to interact with you more. Now, even though this is an unusual thing for me, I usually just do a welcome video and that's about it. Then, you know, we can talk if we need to or do a Teams meeting. I have decided, I went to some trainings over the latter part of the summer, and I have decided that I may send you a video here and there during the course of the semester just to encourage, keep you engaged, probably make you laugh if I can, and, uh, let you know there is actually an instructor out here. That's me. Okay, that's enough. A little bit more about me, uh, Dr. Teresa Cox. I've worked at Randolph Community College since 2004. I was a late bloomer. Uh, I have a master's degree in, well, let me back up. I have an undergraduate degree in exercise and sports science and nutrition. I got a master's degree in gerontology. I started out in uh, cardiophysiology and uh, decided that I wanted to go to gerontology. I have a doctorate in education and kinesiology, which is body movement. So one may ask, how did I get to sociology? Funny you should ask. I love coursework. I love interacting with other students. I love the whole social aspect of going to college. 
But then when I started working on my dissertation for my doctorate, mm, it started to be hard. Kind of like you working on that final paper. So I saw a, uh, it was an advertisement at Randolph Community College about a community college teaching certificate program at North Carolina State. Oh, I loved it. I loved it. I took it. I didn't even take a year. Finished it. It's like a master's degree in community college teaching. I love it. So then I saw one in sociology offered from Appalachian. So I did that too. I'm not going to say how much I loved it, but I did love it. All of this while I should have been working on my dissertation. Hopefully you follow better footsteps than mine. So anyway, I ended up with a post-master's teaching certificate from Appalachian in sociology, and I love sociology. It's a game changer. It is a life-altering experience to be involved in the study of social behavior. So there you go. I have four dogs, and they are napping because the first recording, they were barking. <laughs> at the very end, so I had to do it over again. Uh, like to camp. Hmm. Like to camp with my dogs, actually. I like to eat. I like to run. I'm getting ready to go for a trail run right now. It's perfect weather. It is 70 degrees and a little bit rainy, which, as you and I know, coming out of this hot summer we've had, is going to feel pretty awesome. We will have a good semester if you need me. I have included a business phone number at the top of your syllabus. You can text me, but if you do, please let me know what course you're in. I teach for a lot of community colleges. I teach for Wayne Community College in Goldsboro. I teach for Brunswick Community College down at the beach. And I just recently took on two sociology classes at Southwestern in Silva up near Asheville. So please, if you do text or call me, make sure you tell me what class you're in and what college. That sounds silly, doesn't it? You are a student of. That's me. Let's have a great semester. Thank you so much for taking this class. And we are glad you're an armadillo.